the impacts that we can make, what are we doing? We're doing the wrong thing. Okay. And, um, and you can kind of correct me on this. Uh, basically, uh, your revenue mm -hmm. will actually drive your business or increase your business. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have revenue, you'll never be able to go to another level. You'll, mm -hmm. Like you say, you'll always be stuck you'll somewhere be right in there. the middle. Right there. But the re more revenue you have, right. the more you can expand and grow your business and, and your vision. Exactly. Because, and, and one of the things, like I said, we talk about money. Revenue helps to keep the company functioning. Right. Profits grows the company. Mm -hmm. Because revenue is what you have to make in order to keep the lights on, keep the right. staff paid, right. buy the, the stapler. <laughs> you know, you right. start adding up, that stuff adds up. Adds up. So I have to keep the company running off of revenue. You plan for growth of a company off of profits. That's where it's going to grow. And if you don't have a business plan which will outline exactly what am I doing, what am I not doing, who am I serving, where will I be, you got to have a plan. Because if you don't have a roadmap, whenever I bring a new person in, we're just still shooting in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the honest truth. Uh, everyone does not want to own their business, but most when you find someone that wants to work in a stable company, people want stability. Mm -hmm. They want to know, can I get help? And while I'm getting help, can I? what am I doing to help other people? See, those are the people that you want in. And if you are at a place where you have no roadmap, you can't guide anyone, you can barely guide yourself. You know, people don't want to keep jumping on and they're waiting for you to figure it out. They don't want that. So you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, you got you got to know what you're doing here. You know, because people need stability, especially people that are not biz. You know, crazy folk like us that want to have our own business. You know, we can we can ride the wave because we understand what we signed up for. Right, and yes, your passion. Right, you know, we know. You know, if you go face first into a wall, you're like, oh, who put that wall there? Okay, turn right. around. Mm -hmm. You know, but people who have no desire to own their own business. They need stability. They need stability. They don't. They they they're not they're not riding any waves like that. Like right. you know, they're not. It makes them uncomfortable. So uh, when you do that now, uh, and you create that that place of having that roadmap, that's your plan, your marketing plan. You must have a marketing plan. You must have an advertising plan. And you might oh, what I need all these plans for? You go to Walmart and see if they don't have all three. They have a contingency plan. They have a marketing plan, an advertising plan, a business plan, a strategic plan. You have to know where you're going, how you're going to get there, and when do you know that you have arrived. You got to know. So the bare minimum, when you start out, or while you're, if you don't have a plan now, don't beat yourself up. You know what? Put your chin up. Call me. We'll get your plan going. <laughs> we'll get, get your plan. plan get your plan on board and get it done and know where you're going. Start wherever you are. I tell people, deal with your current reality. Right. Exactly. Don't keep going backwards. I mean, because you're wasting time mm -hmm. going back 10 years. Oh, I should have did this. No. Right. Start with your current reality. My current reality is I have this business. Be honest. I'm not making money. I want to make some money because I need to live. If you're a part-time entrepreneur, you still need a plan. Mm -hmm. Because if you desire to be a full-time entrepreneur, how are you going to get there? And when will you arrive? You want to know these things. Okay. Well, we're going to go to commercial break. Right. And we'll be right back after this. show. My guest is Natasha Davis, born of Visionary People Arrive. We've had an extensive conversation yes. about business, 
Uh, she's going to continue to share with us uh, some vital points that all of our business leaders uh, will need, especially those of you that she said a few minutes ago, you're an employee, you get mm -hmm. mad with your boss, <laughs> I'm going to go out and start my own business, I can do it better. Right, right. Uh, but without a plan, uh, you know, the scripture said, without mm -hmm. a vision, the people will do what? Perish. Perish, perish. So Natasha, just continue to share yeah. with us. At this time. You know, and I, I definitely want to thank you for allowing me to come and, and speak to those that you've been entrusted with. Um, you know, when we're each passionate about what we're doing, I tell, uh, the one thing you want to identify is, again, uh, the people. If your focus must always be on the people. Who, who are you going to take care of? Who are you going to serve? What will you provide to them? Get to the granular level of what you're doing. And the more granular you can get is the better you'll get. You got to stay educated. You got to know what's happening in your industry. I tell people all the time, until you become your industry, you're just playing. Right. And, and I say it and some people, oh, that's just so mean and that's so harsh. But see, that's the times that we're in now because things are evolving very, very rapidly. You know, the days where things took, you know, a year to come around or six months to evolve, things are changing every, sometimes every week. Mm -hmm. Something's dropping new in the industry. And then what, what I do, I have to stay on top and very current because the last thing you want to do is call me and I'm telling you something about 10 years ago. Right. And I want to say at that point, uh, I wanted to say that uh, do not go into any business <laughs> right. that there's not a demand for. You know, and, and I agree with you. And to one extent, one of the things we talk about in the boot camp is learning to supply the demand. Because supply and demand is applicable. My grandmother is a... That is one feisty old woman, I'll tell you. <laughs> but she's smart. smart. And when, I mean, I was a little girl, I always heard it. I don't care what you want to be. I couldn't care less what you want to be. Whatever you do, you be so good at it that people across the globe know what you do. Okay. And I would tell, you know, I'm going to be a nurse, Grandma. And I did. I, was in, I, was, I went in, and I, my first profession, I'm a trauma nurse, and I was very passionate, and I did it to the best of my ability. And, of course, I had a transition, and now I'm a business and marketing strategist. And I always remember her. And this might gross somebody out, but I'm sorry. I don't care if you want to be a pooper scooper. You better be the best darn pooper scooper there is. You better have people calling you from across the globe asking you what is the right way to pick up that poop. And I'm looking at her like, that is really nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. But it's something that stayed with me. The concept. The concept. You right. know, outside of the particulars of it, but the concept. If you are not in demand, you cannot make demands. Right. And if you don't know how to, to supply the demand... You should not request the supply. <laughs> Good point. Good point, right? Yeah. So you got to know how to supply the demand. And if you don't become your industry, I can close my, I can be in my sleep and you wake me up and ask me something about, oh, yes, honey, I got the answer for you. You have to become the industry, especially as a business owner. You got to get real focused in your thinking, very clear and what it is that you want and that you don't want. Because what will happen is people will come because they have an idea and they have a concept, and then they may not have enough courage to go forth with it. Right. But they figure you're already doing it, so let me just slide this on over to you, and you can go ahead and start it for me, and mm -hmm. let me know how it works out. Right. And if it makes any money, then I'm going to remember you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. But see, you have to be careful that people don't force you or or you know into something that is not your thing right you know uh people I, i've learned that there are some companies and industries that i just don't work with because it's, it's just my thing and it's okay until you learn to identify clearly who it is that you want to serve you think you'll need to serve everybody and right. that's not and what you you're here to do right you're not here to serve everyone because everybody doesn't want what you have mm -hmm. everybody doesn't want what i have and and you can't take it personally. And you cannot, you can't, oh, I used to take it so personally. Oh, my God, I can't believe they don't like me. How could they not call me back? What's wrong with them? Is it me? Is it me? Yeah, yeah, right. you, know, like, you know, but you can't take it personally Personal. because here's, here's the thing in business. And, and as a marketer, what we had to learn is, listen, it takes people about seven times, especially if it's not an emergency. It takes people about seven times for them to even process what you're saying to them. This world is so noisy. We have emails, text messages, so we got to do our social media. We have to answer the phone, and then we have to take care of home and take care of ourselves and find this noise. This this world is just so noisy, and if you don't learn how to quiet your mind, 
you got problems. You have problems. So you want to learn how to clearly communicate what it is you're doing and know you have to be consistent. So most people, unless it's an emergency or a dire need, takes them about seven times before they hear what you have to say. So I tell people, one post, one call, that's not going to be all. Right. You got to keep doing it. Got to keep doing it. And if you put out a, if you're having an event or you haven't, you want to tell people about your business and you want to tell them about, if you're not constantly, you have to constantly do it. And see, that's what I found, you know, when I go and I talk to people and businesses want me in and they, and I, I always ask, what is it that you want to see happen? Tell me what would be ideal. This would be perfect. This would mean success to you. And when I hear someone say, you know, I got three clients now over the past five years. I'd like to have 10 within the past, in the next week. Really? Okay. That's not going to happen. Really? No. You still want to proceed forward? No. Okay, no problem. Because I don't like setting myself up for failure. Right. And so I like to give people the opportunity. Tell me what it is that you want, and I'll tell you if it's going to happen or how we can make it happen. And be realistic. And be realistic. You want to be realistic. Right. You know, so, and it takes time. If you just put out, you know, you get your postcards and you mail, make one postcard mailer. No. What's the plan? Hmm. Guess what? In five or six more weeks, you got to put it out again. Because if you put it out and it wasn't a need at the time or the person wasn't really paying attention, right. it's out of their brain because the world is very noisy. A couple years ago, the average person was exposed to about maybe 170 advertisements a day. Today, we are all exposed to at least 2,000 advertising messages and marketing messages a day. Wow. A day. Mm -hmm. Not don't think I got to remember the grocery list, pick up the kids, feed the dog, you know, cook dinner, go jogging, you know, take your, oh, do, get my hair done. Inside, outside of all of that, we're being stimulated so much. Our phone goes off all the time, our text message. So when you're in that place, you have to know as a business, I have to stay right here. Because when that person comes up for air, I want to be dead smack. I want them to see the whites of my right. eye. Right. That's it. You just have to be right for it. You got to be ready for it. So, uh, Natasha, <laughs> if you will, go ahead and give us, um, give our viewers some information yes. of how they can get in contact with you and how they can get you to come out to their businesses or Absolutely. whatever it is they may need. Absolutely. The best way to find everything about Visionary People to contact me is to log on to visionarypeoplearise.com. That's visionarypeoplearise.com. And for those my entrepreneurs, my fellow business owners that are interested in understanding the key principles, I'd like you to log on to businessdevelopmentbootcamp.org so that you can go ahead and see which one of the boot camps you're ready to get involved in and get registered and come on out. I'd love to see you. Okay. Now you know why I have attached myself to Natasha. <laughs> She brings so much energy and Thank so you. much passion, and I definitely appreciate her. And uh, I appreciate her for surrounding herself around me. Yes, yes. So, it's Natasha, an honor. thank you so much today for coming out, just sharing with me and sharing mm -hmm. with our viewers about what's going on with Visionary People Arise. And yes. we just know that because of this show, that people will contact yes. you and will Absolutely. call you and say, Natasha, would you come? and help our business. Yes. We're, we're struggling. We want to get to another level. Yes, yes. So thank you so much for coming thank on you. our show today. Thank you. And uh, from myself, Kenneth Morgan, Natasha Davis Bowen, thank you. thank you for watching this episode of What's Your Story. Awesome. <laughs>